our state leaders are offering support tonight as well. As you can imagine, the story has made headlines and news outlets all over Texas. And KMAX West Rappaport joins us now live from the state capitol. Wes, I know you've been monitoring some of the reaction from there. Hi, Lauren and Brian. Yeah, monitoring some of that reaction from state leaders tonight. Uh, lots of reaction coming in from elected officials after this deadly crash uh, this afternoon. Let's go to Governor Greg Abbott's statement. He called this a horrible tragedy today on Twitter, saying, quote, we must never forget our first responders and the risks they take every time they put on the uniform. We also heard from Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick today acknowledging the two deaths of those first responders responders and asking the state to keep the Lubbock community in your prayers. We're also hearing from Lubbock state area representatives Dustin Burroughs and John Frulo. Burroughs posting an image on social media honoring the two first responders who died and Frulo in a tweet urging Texans to drive safe. Also weighing in today, State Senator Charles Perry saying, quote, this is a sobering reminder to all of us that first responders bravely put their lives on the line every single day. He asked to please keep the, these fallen and wounded heroes and their families in your prayers, adding, I am grateful for brave men and women who serve our communities every day. May God bless them. And among other state leaders who are weighing in tonight, uh, Land Commissioner George P. Bush, among those who posted to social media, offering prayers for the fallen and healing for that firefighter who is still in the hospital. We're live tonight at the state capitol in Austin. I'm Wes Rappaport, KMAC News.